Hello, Burtwood Christian School students, K through fifth graders, and welcome to our second week of our uh, field day activities. We are continuing with our Olympic theme. Um, I've already received so many exciting videos uh, from you guys running and jumping and playing basketball and all the other activities that we have done. And I'm so excited to showcase all of you guys to our, our friends and family that, that will be watching and that you can see each other doing some of these events. So I'm super excited about that. We have another week of activities and we have four more really cool activities for you, okay, to look forward to. And they're going to be somehow related to other uh, Olympic activities. Like last week we did track and field, okay, and we did a, um, a basketball game that we kind of uh, made it made for home, but you know, basketball is in the Summer Olympics. And we also did on Friday a really fun uh, weightlifting uh, race kind of thing. So we, we kind of took the idea of weightlifting that's in the Olympics and made it into a fun game that you could do at home. This week, you're going to have some fun things ahead of you. Uh, we're going to have some cycling. Uh, we're going to have some soccer. We're going to have um, some other really fun activities that you have to look forward to. So uh, maybe a little, a little gymnastics. Okay, so uh, lots of cool things. And we might even do some uh, some target uh, games as well. So be excited about that. Be looking forward to that and be, be ready. So today we're going to start with our Purpose Driven Life book. And I'm going to read uh, a, a section entitled Size Doesn't Matter. Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. A lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it is found in king's palaces. Do friends and family tease you because of your size? Maybe you're short or look young for your age. Maybe you're bigger than all the other kids in your grade and feel like you're always stand out, but not in a good way. Every girl or boy grows up at a different speed. Your height or weight doesn't make you any more or less valuable. Size doesn't matter to God. Think about the lizard. If you are quick enough to catch one stunning on a rock and grab it before it goes away, it doesn't seem very stealthy or powerful, but the same lizard can find its way into the most heavily guarded and highly secure king's palace. God can use something as small as a lizard to teach about wisdom and something as big as a lion to teach about strength. God created you just the way you are. He will use you no matter your size or ability. Just turn to him for wisdom and he will get you in and out of the most unlikely places. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for all the blessings that you've given us. We thank you for another week where we can learn more about you. We thank you for this world that you created, and we thank you for the uh, abilities you give us to do all kinds of fun and amazing things with our bodies. Help us to glorify you this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so since today is Monday, the first day of the week, uh, we usually do some cardio fitness. And uh, we also, we're going to continue on to that this week, especially because our field day activity is a little bit of a fitness activity, okay? And so it's going to require cardio. It's not running today, but it is going to require some of the things that you would need. So we're going to do our running song to warm up for this, okay? Let me get... Here we go, and let's get this ready here. All right, and so we're gonna warm up with this running song and get our bodies all ready, and then we'll talk about our events. Stand up straight, touch the ground. 
it out. Walk it out. Now walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. 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 Slide to the right. Slide to the right. job. Now that we're all warmed up and we've done some running, let's talk about our event for today. Our event today is going to be cycling. Now maybe some of you have seen the Olympics and maybe you have seen some of the different people who do some cycling events in the Olympics. So let me get out of this real quick. Uh, how do I shrink my screen now? There it is. Okay, there we go. And so some of you may have seen some of the cyclers, okay? Cycling in the Olympics is uh, their bicycles they're riding, okay? Some of them you can see are really fancy bicycles with uh, different kinds of wheels on them. Um, some of them are indoors. If you look at this first picture right here, you see some cyclists that are riding in a race. They're like a group, they're a team, a relay, and they ride together and they all have to cross. It's a really cool race and they ride in circle in an indoor track. You can see this big picture right here of an indoor track. I mean, that's a big circle to be inside, right? And it has, and you can see that the walls are kind of slanted and they kind of go up a hill a little bit uh, on, these, on these sides where they ride, the walls kind of go up and that's kind of cool. And then of course there's outdoor cycling races, okay? And you can see the people right here are riding in races. There are some races that take multiple days. Look at this big group of people. This looks beautiful in Tokyo. 2020 is a, is a picture of that. Uh, that's for the Tokyo Olympics. So I wonder if that took place in Tokyo. Obviously not at the Olympics since it hasn't happened yet. But um, you can see all these people riding their bikes. There's multiple people on a team. They work together, they ride, and uh, they race and they go up and down hills and they do all different kinds of things. Now, cycling is a really cool event that happens in the Olympics. It's not one that uh, is easy to demonstrate at home because the where they run, they have these big courses and they go all over the place. But we're going to do our own home version of cycling. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, share my screen with a different screen here. And I'm going to have a special guest visitor. I have a few guests today. And uh, today you can see, this is Avi. she's in fifth grade. She's gonna, uh, uh, she's gonna talk uh, a little bit about and give us an idea of one of the ways. If you've been watching these videos, you know that we do multiple ways of telling you how to do events. So we try to give you options so that you can do them at home, uh, on your own, okay? We try to do the uh, on your own at home with whatever equipment that you have, okay? And so she's gonna give you one example. And uh, she's going, as one of our fifth grade leaders who helped us plan this event, she's going to show you a demonstration of how you can do this. Hello, Brentwood Bears. I'm Amy Bischoff and I'm in the fifth grade and this is my sister, Corin. He is in the second grade. Today for field day, in the Olympics, they have something called a downhill slalom. And instead of flags, we use the cycle ball. So grab your skates, your scooters, your bicycles, anything with wheels, but make sure that you have a helmet for safety. Right, Coraline? Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Six seconds, see if you can beat her. 
All right, so that was excellent. Way better than I could do. She uh, introduced herself, she told you what the event was, and then she demonstrated it. It didn't take very long at all. So if you have a scooter and a helmet at your house and maybe some cans or some things that you could set out to use to go around, doing a slalom or a race in and out of obstacles is one way that you can do it. Uh, another way that you can do this is by racing a brother or sister. And so I'm going to use my two, uh, two of my kids to demonstrate that. So I'm going to take this screen and I'm going to turn it around and make sure that we can see them. And there they both are. And so I'm gonna to try to follow them. I'm gonna tell them when to go. And then they're going to race to our set of mailboxes at the end of our sidewalk. You guys ready? On your mark, get set, go. Okay, Reese lost her scooter there, but that's okay. That's a great way to race. Um, so that's two different ways that you can do it. Again, you can use other equipment. You can use a bike, okay? You can use um, a scooter. You can use roller skates, anything that has wheels. You can do it as an obstacle course on your own, or you can do it as a, um, or you can race a, a brother or sister or a parent if you want to. And that would be a great thing to do. I have one more thing I'm gonna show you, and that is if you happen to have like a different kind of uh, equipment that's not a scooter or a bike, or you happen to have a hoverboard. Our kids happen to have that. And uh, this is something that they do, okay? And so um, they play on it. And so I'm gonna turn the screen again to Tucker here. And I'm gonna move a little closer so we can see him. And he's doing some tricks and spinning, going back and forth, stopping and starting, racing down to the end, stopping. Good job. So if you're really good on a hoverboard, or if you're really good on roller skates, or if you have uh, some tricks that you do in your, back, in your yard, on your driveway, that you wanna show us. Uh, there is also, uh, in the Olympics, there are uh, uh, bike riding we didn't show on the screen. In fact, let me go ahead and share the screen so that you can see again, and I'll show you some other that we didn't talk about, and that is when they do uh, dirt bike racing, like this picture right here mountain biking and they go through the the rocks and they go over things and they they go up and down and so there's also uh some bmx riding where they do some um tricks on ramps so there's all kinds of things that happen at the olympics now too and so uh if you have anything that you want to show us an obstacle course a race or tricks on your equipment again remember keep the videos kind of short so that we can show as many as possible Okay, and this uh, is mostly for uh, kindergarten, first and second graders. Okay, we really want you guys to send in your videos on, on, on today, on Monday again, so that we have those uh, and we can showcase you guys on that. We really want to have uh, lots of those. Remember a couple things. Be safe, wear your helmet. Make sure you're using your equipment that you've done before in an area where you've done it before and your parents are approving of what you're doing, okay? No crazy tricks off of, uh, of things that we shouldn't be jumping off of, but uh, if you wanna race on the sidewalk like our kids did, uh, doing it on the sidewalk by our house, wearing a helmet, that's the best way to do it, okay? So I hope you have a great day today and have a lot of fun with the cycling uh, Olympic events and uh, get excited because we've got three more events coming up this week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.